Hello, is this working? Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be super low budget. <laughs> it is currently, I think around 3.30 on an afternoon. We are here at Cafe Rasa in Goa, India. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the place, but the topic of this video is we're gonna about to drive 35 minutes to go explore Tribal Warriors Goa. I just realized that the camera is over here, but I don't feel like reshooting anything, so we're just gonna do this in one take. Okay, now a quick little tour of Cafe Rasa. So this is a cafe slash co-working space located in Panjim, uh, in the south of Goa. Oh, beautiful dress. And what I love about this cafe, hi, is that on one side, you have the Mandobi River, and then on the other side, you have the Latin Quarter. It has so much personality. This was my workspace. So the founder of this cafe, uh, Navneet, was actually the main reason why I'm actually here in India. Look at that! Isn't that colorful? Oh! The reason I'm actually here in Goa, India is because Navneet is currently organizing retreats in partnership with Neural and I was going to be one of the guinea pigs to kind of like showcase um, Goa from a digital nomad's perspective. It's now been about like I think four days that I've been in Goa, India and I'm starting to itch to like go visit a martial arts gym and people have been telling me two gyms specifically, tribal warriors and aka Mandrim or something that I should go visit. So today we are going to go visit tribal warriors. Bridge is so cool. The Google map says that we should be here. Okay. I'm feeling so shy all of a sudden. They should be expecting me at Tribal Warriors. Then we're going to go do a little tour, ideally. I'm told the gym is inside of the Art Juna Cafe, so it should be in here. Oh, hello. Okay, I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> I have no idea where the gym is. Holy crap, totally was not expecting this. There's a library there, what? Right next to the library. This should be it. I see, I see punching bags. Whoa. This is crazy. What? What? There's an MMA ring? This is Roman over here. This is going to be a super like low-key video. Hey Roman guys. is going to give us a tour of the gym. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to switch the camera over. Yes, you can do this. <laughs> Yo guys, we are here in Tribal Warriors. So uh, come please, I'm going to introduce and show you our gym. How long have you been working here, Roman? Uh, <laughs> you can talk to me if you want. <laughs> uh, it's, it's been like two years as I'm here. Really? Uh, three, I'm sorry. Three. What, prompt, what um, motivated you to move here? Oh, you know, in 2020, like three years ago, it yeah. was a uh, cyclone over here in Goa. People was without food, mm. cut with, uh, from water. The gym was collapsed, like totally destroyed by cyclone. Oh my God. That's how I met. Yeah. I was without work and I met her. I uh, met Bonnie and I uh, offered her my like work time. Uh -huh. uh, then I start come here. Usually, I start build up because every piece of uh, like every piece of the gym has his own story. Everything was destroyed from destroyed the cyclone. By cyclone. That's how I met Bonnie. And slowly I go into Muay Thai. Oh. I will start build up with Bonnie. She gave me work, and then I slowly start training as a student. Then become instructor. No way. Then after I then after I become a manager. Uh, hey guys, my name is Roman and let's go. We are in Tribal Warriors in our Juno Cafe and I'm gonna show you our gym. Yay! Yeah, let's go. Exciting! Yeah. So right now here is a, a strength and conditioning uh, class going on which are held by a seat. He's uh, our instructor in, in the gym, so come. <laughs> 
take off the shoes. Oh, I love this. This is our temple. Uh, yeah. That's so great. Come and show you more. I'll show you our cage. Okay, yeah. let's see. So uh, over here is a bag area. But... Nice. The USI, they are sponsor us. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, right now is uh, aerial session going on in uh, cage, as you see. Warrior cage. <laughs> warrior cage. The warrior cage. It looks very warrior-esque right now. Yeah. It's the easiest way to access the class schedule. Instagram page. Instagram page. Instagram okay. and Facebook. Be Inst careful, please. Yes, thank you. So because this is such a low production video, I'm actually probably, after class, I'm going to just grab some dinner and edit this right away. Okay. Yeah. Do you recommend going to the cafe here to get dinner, or do you have a favorite spot that you recommend in the evening? Uh, I do have a favorite spot, but it's uh, far away from here. But in Arjuna as well, they do. I, actually, I'm uh, meat lower. Uh, yeah, I'm a, Me too. I'm a meat too, yeah. yeah. And uh, here is like a uh, non uh, vegetarian, vegetarian, and uh, they eat fish. Okay. I'm so awkward in the camera. <laughs> I know you're doing great. Yeah. All of us are awkward on camera. So 5:30 we have a pad work. 5:30 is pad work. I'm gonna do that class. And 6:30 is a motai sparring session. All right, can I join on that? You can. You have yeah. to. Gene was founded in 2013 once uh, Bonnie came in Goa, and she uh, start training kids from 5 to 15 years and one of the kids was Sid and he's now instructor. Let me introduce him to you guys. Yeah? Hey guys, I'm Sid. Nice to meet you. I am one of the first students that Bonnie's ever trained. I started, we ca I came here first time in 2013. So 10 years ago, Bonnie started a class with just a bunch of kids, some adults and slowly, slowly she gradually built the gym. But over time, when the gym got, got bigger, oh, well, I gotta start again, <laughs> like, you know. I'm, I'm not I'm not that good as this, you know. Go there was not much happening. Mm -hmm. So all the fighters at, at our gym we wanted to compete and show our, show our skills. Mm -hmm. So we started out of combat. First fight night, it was like fight? a tournament. So it was a 12 man elimination tournament. Oh, there's no weight category, no age, no age limit. Oh my 12 God. man elimination tournament. I was fighting in that. That was like my first fight and I fought I fought four fights in one night. So in the end by the end of it Fighting four fights in one night, I won the tur tournament. I was like 16. When you were 16. So this was this was in 2018. And how old was the oldest person you fought in that tournament? I think they were like 35 or something. <laughs> I was 16. They were 35. <laughs> there was no eight, weight limit, so, so I was probably like 60 kilos at that time. The other guy was maybe like 15, 20 kilos heavier than me. Oh my god. There was no, there was no weight limit, no age limit, you know. So are there other gyms that you fight in the area? So in the moment, the first art of combat, we started with in-house. So this is all in-house. So everyone who wanted to fight, we had to pair them up. But we did like a tournament, tournament style. That's so awesome. So it's like, Elimination, like yeah. we couldn't find like people to fight each other in the weight, same weight class. We had everyone against each other. It was all oh in the same God, gym. It's just free for all. Yeah. Jeez, crazy. And then that's how art of combat started. Slowly, slowly, everyone got more hyped up about art of combat. Uh -huh. And they went, we did as many, like every year we do like one or two art of combats. It's become a lot bigger now. We have uh, Bonnie who is w, like World Kickboxing Organization's president in India. So we, she hosts the fights for WKO and we have fighters all over India uh -huh. coming to fight over here at Art of Combat. So we have fights is this twice a year. This is the ring that we fight, fight in. in. Oh, yeah. cool. So twice a year. People from all over India come to fight over here. Let's hear about the residential training programs. Yeah, so Bonnie has created these residential training camps for clients who come to travel and live in Goa. Not live in Goa, but as for vacation. Mm -hmm. So it's like one month training camps mm -hmm. designed especially for your needs. If you want to build strength, lose weight, get stronger, Muay Thai, whatever, whatever you like. What's the best way to get in touch for the You'll programs? have to contact Bonnie through, mm -hmm. through Facebook or we even have our Instagram, Tribal Warriors. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, yeah. that's quite simple. These yeah. days it's, it's so pretty simple, simple with but like... We have a lot of curators. So we have, our, for the training plans, we have a lot of trainers. So all, every trainer does a bit of everything. You can do, you can do one, one class or twice, two classes a day. So it's very customized, basically. Yes. This is uh, Igor, and uh, he's uh, one of our instructors who is going to hold pads uh, for you, for your training today. Hi, I've been uh, training at Tribal Warriors for about two years now, a little bit more, a little bit less. I used to be a Taekwondo fighter. We had a K1 fight. I fought on Bonnie's show on Art of Combat. And one of her students who had only been training for four weeks 
kicked my butt. And so immediately I decided I have to join this gym. And I, I've been here ever since. I won a K1 belt and now I'm transferring into MMA. I'm having as many MMA fights as I can and I hope to go pro soon. And let's have fun holding pads. Yeah. I'm good at speaking to people. Yeah. Yeah, you're really good at Is it still rolling? Now yeah. it's awkward. <laughs> so, um, oh, it's so nice to train again. Stab, cross, right kick, and hook cross. Stab, cross. Bang! Your Five stand, kick, step, elbow, hook, cross. So You can hear the music in the background pretty well, so I'm gonna walk away from that for a bit. Um, we are still at Adrena Cafe right now. It is 9 p.m. I still have to drive home, which is like 30 minutes away. Um, but I really wanted to edit this video. Um, I promised myself that so that I wanted to be really quick about this. I'm gonna be like, hey, we're gonna do a day trip to this gym and then um, the video, we're gonna edit it the same day and then publish it within like 24 hours. All in all, this was really, really cool. I was not expecting to have so much fun at this gym. If I had the time, I would definitely come back. Um, the vibe was so cool, so chill. And the thing that's so crazy is that this gym was founded by um, a woman named Bonnie. Unfortunately, she's not here. She's in the UK right now. But to me, it looks like a female, solely female founded gym. I don't think I've ever witnessed that yet to date. And that is so fucking cool. Okay, my headphones are falling out. And that concludes this really rushed together really video. If I think too much about it, I'm just not gonna post it. And like the whole point of this is, I just want to tell stories at the end of the day. And sometimes you just need to do everything in one take. That concludes the adventure for today. I'm gonna go pay up my bill and then drive 30 minutes back home. It'll probably be 11 p.m. by the time we get back home. Um, stay tuned for the next adventure.